In this Knowledge Smart Support video, we will explore test invite history. So Knowledge Smart admins can view a full list of sent test invites, including test status, on the Invites and History submenu. Use the Account drop-down menu to view individual accounts or choose all linked accounts. Use this filter here top left to filter via invite status. So you will notice that there are th four groups, not started, in progress, completed and pending. Essay questions have a pending status because they require manual marking. Search for a specific invite by selecting Show Search from the top left here and then entering one of the search parameters in the relevant fields. Hit the Search button to filter the, your data. To create a dynamic group, click Show Dynamic Groups and apply the relevant filters from the values captured in your user data fields. You are free to create as many dynamic groups as you need. Your sent invite data can easily be exported via this button here at the top. Resend multiple invites at the same time by selecting the relevant invite and using the check boxes and clicking the resend invites button here. So if there was a specific invite that perhaps a user said they did not receive, you can select all relevant invites and then just click resend invite. Similarly, if there were a number of invites that you didn't want to keep anymore, you can just select the relevant invites and click delete. The Extend Invites button here at the top is used when you need to extend an expiry date previously applied to an invite. So here you will just simply select the new expiry date to be applied uh, to that specific assessment invite. If for any reason you needed to log into the user test session, you can use this icon here with the green arrow to resume that session. Use any column headers to reorder the data that you see on the screen. Your invite history data can also be analyzed inside the Knowledge Smart Power BI template. That concludes this Knowledge Smart support video about invite history, and we'll see you in the next one.